Welcome back, we're here looking at the indices and this is going to be my weekly forecast for July 4th, 2022. If you like support channel, you can hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and let's get to it. So this is the Nasdaq we're looking at in the weekly chart and uh, as you can see, we have fallen quite significantly last week. We did bounce uh, roughly from the 200 moving average, which should be significant support uh, for the NASDAQ. Uh, we did bounce from there, but we have given basically all of those gains back. So the 200 moving average should be an area where we'll find major support. Breaking below this, well, that is not something that happens every year. We have to go way back all the way back to 2008, 2007, before we basically 2008 and 2009, when we basically traded below the 200 moving average. And we have to go all the way back to, to uh, 2000, towards 2020, roughly four, when we were also trading below the 200 moving average. So, yes, it is a sign of a significant. Um, uh, breakdown in the in the economy when we start trading below the 200 moving average so at this point we could be hanging on to the 200 moving average going sideways uh, for the foreseeable future we could also see another rally up towards the 20 simple moving average as we have seen in the past uh, or we can get a major rally up towards the 50 moving average but breaking below the 200 moving average uh, in the coming weeks, well, that will be uh, fairly devastating for uh, this market. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see that MACD is still bearish. And stochastic is also bearish. It has crossed the signal line yet again. And we are fairly low in the RSI. We are at the 36 in the RSI, which is on the edge of being overbought. And in historical terms, every time we get fairly low to to basically the lows of the RSI, RSI and it tends to bounce. We have tested it here basically three times in the last uh, uh, few months, but we have to go all the way back to 2020 when we had the massive drop um, due to the coronavirus to see this and taste uh, tested the um, 30 in the RSI. And then we have to go to back towards the 2018 and then even further back than that. But Breaking below the 200 moving average, well, that will um, have significant um, importance for this market. That we'll probably see something similar to 2000, uh, the dot com bubble if we uh, break below that, and also if we have a crossing of the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average. So, if you look at the, the SP 500, it is doing fairly, uh, it's doing better than the NASDAQ. We'll probably end up down here at the 200 moving average in the next few weeks. So that's at 3,500. Uh, but compared to the NASDAQ, this is has not dropped uh, as far as the tech sector. Uh, we did rally here um, and then gave most of those gains back. Pulled back, rallied a little bit on Friday. Um, if we rally above this candlestick here we may go towards the uh, 20 simple moving average but uh, my, my guess is that we'll most likely test uh, the 200, uh, 200 moving average before we see this rally up towards the uh, 20 simple moving average bring it below here well it's very similar to the nasdaq that kind of is a signal that we are heading into a uh, recession in the united states if we look at the technical indicators we can see the macd is um, is um, bearish stochastic is also bearish and the rsi is bearish as well um, there's not a lot of good news out there uh, that will get this market rallying back towards the highs it kind of has to have we need to have a massive change in monetary policy in order to see um, this turn around and there's probably going to be a lot more hurt in the market um, going forward than then the market will be more pessimistic than optimistic if i say it like that if you look at the dow jones we can also see that we did fairly bounce from the 200 moving average uh rallied above um, this candlestick here and then gave most of those gains back we did rally quite a bit on friday but 200 moving average is still going to be the place where we are gonna test whether or not we break down from here or we rally 
If we look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish. Stochastic is um, about to cross the signal line, uh, but it's still bullish. And the RSI, well, there's a fairly um, higher RSI compared to the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. So if we rally from here at the 20 simple moving average at the 33,000, that should be massive uh, uh, resistance. And the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average should be massive support. So if you look at the European markets, they have been falling off a cliff uh, recently. We did break below the 200 moving average at the 13.2K. Uh, we are testing uh, this, the bottom of um, uh, basically the lows of uh, March, uh, where we hit roughly 12.4K. Breaking below that, well, this market will technically fall apart. There is... Europe is technically in serious crisis. They have um, they have an energy crisis, and they basically also, they also have a monetary crisis because they basically monetary policy. There is no um, win-win situation. There is only lose-lose situation in in Europe at this current stage. If they they need to uh, address inflation, which is uh, really high, and in order to do that, they need to increase interest rates. And if they increase interest rates, well, the economy will basically fall off a cliff. So, so, um, so there is no good solution to the European economy, and therefore, going forward, we'll probably see this go even lower um, than it is at this current stage. I wouldn't be surprised at the end of the year we would see something, basically, a double bottom here of roughly eight thousand eight k. But that is to be seen. At this point, we are testing the bottom here. Uh, rallies will mostly define major uh, resistance at the 200 moving average. Uh, if we break above the 200 moving average, then the 20 simple moving average will come back and, back and, back and then the, uh, this basically the double the top here of 14.6k. Don't really have any hopes for getting to that level. Uh, we may see additional rallies. Uh, main reason for that is the RSI is very low. We are at the 31 at this current stage. Stochastic is bearish, and so is the MACD. This technically just looks horrible, and uh, rallies at this point, or significant rallies, will most likely be sold into. So let's look at the, the volatility at the VIX. happening with my system here yes so volatility index we went all the way up towards 34 give or take and then we broke down so we have been finding support at the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average and 50 moving average is down here at 23 200 moving average down here at 22 that is probably as far as this will basically go we are dropping and that should be, should be bullish for uh, the indices so they are the RSI is very low in the in the season, so we may see a rally, for example, on Monday and Tuesday. But as soon as um, indices get to a certain level, rally to a certain level, ten five ten percent, they have been sold into, and and that's probably what we're gonna see uh, um, going forward. You just need a little bit of bad news, and then they drop yet again to even lower levels. Um, so. We may see the VIX drop towards the 50 moving, uh, 50 moving average at 23.74 or the two, uh, 200 moving average at 22.33. To the upside, 33.97, that is a barrier breaking above that. Then we'll most likely go towards 36.55 and then towards 40. MACD is still uh, bearish, stochastic is bearish, and so is the RSI with a lot of room to the downside. So, the 10-year just fell off a cliff uh, last, last, last week. week. We're at 2889 at this point. We could have been heading towards the lows here, 2.715, or the 20 simple moving average. Breaking below this, well, that opens the door to uh, the Fibonacci retracements, which we have right here. If you look at the lows of the Fibonacci retracement, you can see that uh, 20 simple is right here at the 38.2, uh, that is 2.631, uh, 50 is down here at 2.334, uh, and then the 61.8 is at 2.056.
And that is probably as far as we will go if this basically drops below that. 50 is probably where we'll see the bounce to the upside. MACD, you can see we have a crossing here in the MACD. And last time we had a crossing, we hit all the way down to the 250 moving average. So crossing here all the way down to the 50 and then we continue rallying. So this has been gone parabolic and uh, this shooting star here was a massive warning for this market that we would basically tumble. So um, we'll see what basically happened, but at this current stage, um, I wouldn't be surprised if we drop all the way down to the 50 or the 61.8 uh, going forward. Stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. And there's a lot of room to the downside. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.